So we're going to go down through, talk about some different definitions in here like we did in uh, 1-2-A. I'm going to star the ones that are very, very important. So we've got an acute angle, an angle with a measurement between 0 and 90. Not incredibly important. You've seen it before. Um, you'll never get asked a question about that in, in an exam that I can ever imagine. Uh, right angle, angle that's exactly 90. This is kind of important. I'm going to put a little baby star on it. Um, I'm pretty sure everyone knows what a right angle is. All right. And when we see it, we just need to know it's exactly 90. The most important thing about a right angle is going to be that that's the symbol for it. There's a little box in the corner of the angle. And probably the most important thing is that you uh, will see that box on some, um, on some problems that you're doing. And it won't tell you it's a right angle. You have to recognize that it has that box. Okay. Obtuse angle. Has a measurement between 90 and 180. Again, I have never seen a question where it asks you anything about an obtuse angle. Uh, it's helpful to be able to look at an angle and go, yeah, that's about 110. Okay, but it's not important that we be able to assign the word obtuse to an angle. Straight angle is only important because it tells us what a measurement is. Again, I'm going to put a little kind of baby star by that. And whenever you see something, you know, if there's some sort of diagram that, say, looks like this with a bunch of letters on it, we know that that yellow angle is a line. Most of you realize it's a line, but it is an angle because it has a dot and it has a dot on it. It's an angle. We know that that's exactly 180 degrees. And what that would tell us is that 1 plus 2 plus 3 has to equal 180. And we're not there yet, so we're not worried about that. But eventually, um, we're going to be doing some things where we have to have those types of equations built into uh, what we're doing.